Hi everybody, thank you for watching. I had to take a little bit of time off of working on the guitar because I had to create a desk for myself to work from while I work from home during this pandemic. So that took quite a bit of my time to get done and I could not work on the guitar during that process because there was just so much of my small workbench taking up with that. So now that we're back on the guitar, I've actually gotten quite a bit of work done to it that I've recorded, but I haven't processed in um, you know, video editing and of course getting them onto YouTube. So what we're going to do for this video is I'm going to show you some quick time lapses of uh, what I did to protect the front of the body, the fretboard, and then cutting out the headstock. I will probably show you the initial red dyeing of the body and the neck up to the point where we join the neck to the body. And I think we'll probably end the video whenever the neck and body finally get joined together. So stay tuned and let's see where this goes. All right, folks, now that the body is taped off, or at least the top of it is taped off to be ready for staining, I'm gonna start working on the neck. Um, I'm not gonna do the fret work yet. I wanna tape this off, and I am going to work on carefully removing the nut because I have a tusk nut for it. There's also an issue here that I need to replace or fix. Let's set this here. If you look down, see if I can find it, you'll notice that this was cut slanted, or cut slanted. So I'm going to remove this nut, file that across, make it nice and even, and add the new tusk nut. I also need to come up with my design for up here. Uh, at least half of this is going to be taken away. I have a couple ideas, maybe a little dog ear type thing, or, or this little swoop, or I don't know. There's a few things that I'm thinking of. Um, so I'll work on that, do a time lapse, and we'll be right back with you. Nut came right off. Pretty clean break where the glue was. <sighs> yeah, you can see here, oops. You can see here how it was cut unevenly. So I'm gonna take my straight edge, check. Um, well, now I have an issue, because I need the body to check the scale to make sure I'm not taking too much off here. And I've already taped up the body. Uh, so, for now, I'll leave the nut off of it while I work on the fretboard because I'm not, I'm not doing anything on the top yet. I'm just going to be doing all the staining so I can do all that um, with the nut off. And then whenever I glue the body together with the neck, I can check the scale length and add a shim if I need to or take off what I need to and we'll be good to go.
So here I am with a semi-finished product. I wasn't happy with how it was coming out the way I was originally doing it, but once I started to bevel the edges a bit, I started to be a lot happier with this. I'm just taking 120 grit, 120 grit sandpaper rolled up and just in one direction at the band. Just lightly feathering around and beveling these edges. And I'll roll it around to uh, have more bite and more roundness. And this is just going to round these off clean up these edges a lot better than what they were. Oh, a little off center there. Sorry. Once I have it to where I want with the 120, I'll go over it with 220. This is 220. Now, I'm not going to go too crazy and go down the rest of the neck yet because I'm not ready to put the stain on. I want to work on the body of the guitar a little bit more before I do that. But I think I am pretty happy with how this is turning out. I'm going to do just a little bit more smoothing. I have to go over this with the 320-220 or 220-320, smooth it up a little bit more. So I'll get some sandpaper and do that right now. Actually, I'm going to use my super fine sponge for that. The only unfortunate thing is I'm not able to do the inlay that I want to do with my silver wire. I'm able to pound the silver wire out flat and I can make it fit the grooves that I would route in here, but it's not wide enough to fit down in there, give enough room for glue to hold without getting to the top of the body or the top of the neck and causing other issues. So I need to come up with something new for the decal that I'm going to put there. Today we are dyeing the red in the mahogany. So let's get to her. I have already done all of the prep work on the wood. I've already mixed my dye. I've done five ounces of denatured alcohol, three milliliters of red, and just one milliliter of black to give it a little bit more uh, um, of a deeper color. And I think that'll come out looking quite nice once it's on this mahogany. So I'm gonna get on some gloves and then we're gonna start dyeing the back. Everything has already been wiped down with naphtha. Now let's start on the red. I currently plan for about three coats of this. Just to give it a nice deep color. But really this single coat just looks great. As you can see, I've not re-dipped my rag. A little bit goes a long way. Just making sure I push out to the edges. I'm 
And we're going to redip our rag and do the edges, being very careful. Oh boy, I have a mess right here. Neck is all prepared, nap fed. Wow. Look how beautiful this neck is. Wow, this is gorgeous. I cannot wait to get this together. going to flip this around and unwrap the front so we can see how everything looks with the contrasting colors. I'm excited to see this. Oh man. I already see what you can't see and it is pretty. There's really no nice and simple way to do this. I'm just going to rip the paper and then peel the tape later. There we go. Wow. That is gorgeous. Look at that green and red together. Wow. For a better idea, let's take the neck down here, put the neck against it. That is absolutely gorgeous. Oh man, I can't wait to get this all together. I'm going to test how the neck sits. Make sure everything is covered that needs to be covered. That's fine. Check this side. Looks all good. And I think that will be just fine there too. That's going to be pretty.
So our next steps now is going to be doing the last little bit of preparation here in the neck pocket for the neck and the body to be joined. And then I'm going to get the clamps ready and get this glued together. And now we're gonna work on joining the neck and the body together. I'm gonna to take a new acid brush and just brush along in here, remove any, any issues that may be left over. This is water-based glue, so I kind of have to be careful. This wood may swell some, which would be not completely unexpected. It's just not a favored, uh, favored result. So I'm just putting a thin layer where I believe I need it. Making sure we get it here in this crack here. It's not a crack, it's, a, it's where it was routed out. But for lack of a better word. Doesn't take a whole lot of glue to do this. You don't need a ton. Because you're not gonna be able to clamp this down with extreme force or you'll crack the body of the guitar. Okay. That is going to tack. While I get the neck ready. The great thing of this being water-based glue is you can easily clean it up with a wet rag. So I'm not worried about some of this overrun here. All right, let's get this neck ready. Ooh, let's not do that. I need a better way to handle this. I need another set of hands. But you don't have at the moment. Have some swelling. We have quite a bit of swelling actually. And that is actually helping me out because it lets this be stronger or tighter at least so I can set the neck properly before adding the clamps. I'm gonna set that fella there. We're gonna grab this clamp first and that goes crossed here. Carefully slide this forward. Try to get this clamp as close to the middle here as possible. And we're not tightening this super tight. Because what can happen whenever you tighten it super tight, um, let me find another piece of wood here. Do, do, do. I'll just use these little guys. When you tighten it super tight, we have where the, um, the neck is joining the body. So whenever I tighten it super tight, there's just enough force where it bends the neck up out of the way. And it creates a gap here on the side. So you want to be careful with your initial gluing. Come on, cooperate. This piece of wood is going to be a little bit of an issue, I think. Oh no, it will not. Good. Check any gaps you may have. I have just a little bit of runoff back here, but that's on the binding, so I'm not really 100% concerned. That's gonna get scraped. I'm just gonna go over that and fill it with my finger. Now she sits for 12 hours before I can touch it.